Hi, Mike Troy with Retail Leader here uh, in Irving, Texas at the Symphony Retail AI Accelerate event, joined by Patrick O'Mara. Uh, you lead all of supply chain replenishment for Symphony. Yes. And um, what are you focused on here at the event? What, what solutions are you talking to retailers about? Sure, well, while we're having conversations throughout the entire supply chain, one of the really exciting things that we've been focusing on is our AI-based demand forecasting tool. Uh, you know, leveraging third-party contextual data like weather, uh, promotions, price sensitivity to help uh, increase retailers' forecast accuracy and ultimately drive, you know, the traditional ROI uh, even higher uh, for uh, retailers. When you say contextual data, is that like unstructured data? Is that the same thing? Yeah. What, it's, it's, what does contextual data mean? Sure. Contextual data is, you know, any data really from a third party. Uh, so think about like weather uh, or competitive pricing uh, that can be applied, uh, things like traffic. Uh, so looking at those kind of patterns and understand how they influence uh, the both fresh items as well as standard grocery items uh, in a retailer's uh, operation. Are there uh, particular channels, retail channels that you're focused on? You mentioned grocery. Sure. So really grocery, convenience, any fast moving consumer good. Uh, but Symphony's got a, a long history of working uh, with highly perishable items. Uh, so grocery, convenience, uh, and then even in e-commerce startups uh, that are really focusing in that space as well. Are you able to look into, like, you know, when people search for things online, you know, like what people are looking at? Can you take, do you take that data and factor that into a forecast? It's actually a, a unique challenge we've looked at with one of our customers and are looking at um, embedding that type of information. Uh, you know, beyond just that, looking at things like uh, a, an item's star rating, uh, an item's uh, uh, rank on, uh, on its website, so where it falls on the search results page. Uh, and, and if an item is a, um, a preferred item that's pushed to the top. So th those are all things that can be uh, included in the forecast to, to, again, drive a little bit more forecast accuracy. Okay, let's end on this last question. Um, what sort of input feedback are you getting from retailers on what they like about this best and where they think you could maybe tweak the algorithm? Sure. So, you know, I'd say there's, there's not a lot of negative feedback as far as how to tweak the algorithm. Really what we see is more challenges, uh, uh, brought to our R&D team. You know, a, a great example is one retailer had a focus on highly promotional items. Uh, they, they were having a challenge hitting their uh, metrics, um, so they wanted to focus the forecasting in that space. They were able to actually achieve about an 86% accuracy on promoted items uh, within a one to two week mm -hmm. range. You know, which is well above industry standard. So 86% they were able to forecast what the sell through on that item would be. During that promotion. How would that compare to like, say, what a normal forecast would be? Sure. Accuracy? So a, tr um, a retailer who's managing the data extremely accurately can get regular turn items at about 70 to 75 percent accurate. Uh, promotion items generally fall in the 60 to 65 percent accuracy on a mm. promotional forecast. Because it's hard to know what the reaction is going to be by store, by geography, based on some of the contextual stuff you mentioned based related on to what's weather. the weather, the time of year, the season, uh, as well as some things, uh, you know, like uh, cannibalization and halo mm. effects. So if I put hot dogs uh, on promotion, how's that going to affect my buns, my mustard, my mayonnaise? Hopefully not mayonnaise, but you know, giving you a lot of uh, giving you, you a lot know. more data uh, on items that maybe you're not having direct impact on, but have a very indirect impact when you put something on promotion. Okay. All comes down to improve accuracy, better profitability. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Patrick. Absolutely. Thanks, Mike.